Hello, hello everybody, welcome on in. I am Orion. We are back with some more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Still, still, a couple weeks later, the hottest Survivor game on the market. There actually hasn't really been a lot that's come out recently. Uh, Champion Shift came out the other day, and I think that one's pretty decent. I mean, it's not gonna... <laughs> I don't think anything's gonna overthrow Deep Rock Galactic for a while, so... We're gonna, I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of this game for a while, and hopefully everybody still enjoys it. Because I know you can get a little bit uh, burnt out from this kind of stuff, just seeing the same stuff over and over. But the views are still there. This is still what people wants to see. So I guess we're gonna, all us content creators are just gonna keep busting it out until people say no more. But today we're going to be running Magma Core. We're going to be running Hazard 4. We're going to be running the Gunner. I know we've been doing quite a few Gunner builds recently, but it's, I guess it's mostly because that's the class I can clear Hazard 5 with. And I also just recently unlocked the the coil gun, and it's a pretty cool weapon. I've used it a couple times. It can actually do a lot of damage uh, if you get it with multiple beams. It is a beam weapon, and so one of the reasons we're actually going to run the heavy gunner is because, well, for one, the coil gun is a default gunner weapon, so all the, all the, the gunner classes can use it, but I'm going to very specifically lean into the beam part of it, hopefully. It's all RNG based, but hopefully. So that means we're going to use the other guns. And since we get access, the heavy gunner gets access to heavy weapons. They're going to get access to like the breach cutter, the shard diffractor, the sludge pump. And those are all beam weapons also. So it's going to pair well with the coil gun because then we're going to start unlocking things like beam length. And that's what I want to get. I want to start. I want to really. This is going to be a run where we go really, really heavily into the coil gun. So I'm going to level that up the most and kind of prioritize it over everything else. This is a tough one. So I'm going to try to get it, you know, like into the mid 20s, somewhere around there. That's going to be the goal. I'm not really going to I'm going to kind of sort of prioritize it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to super prioritize it because we are doing hazard four. So I do need to make sure I have a somewhat strong build. But we are going to, I am going to put a lot of, a lot of points into it. We're going to at least get it overclocked. So ideally we get the, I have to get that gun second. Um, if we don't get a second, then we're going to redo this video and you're never going to know. But <laughs> that's, that's how this is going to work. Cause I, I need to see that gun second and then we'll, oh man, there's a lot of gold here. Um, let's come get this gold. All right, let's do the weapon. Okay, I need at least like 30 gold. We have 30, we have 50. Okay, we're gonna get 60 here, which will be nice. Okay, so we're gonna have to re-roll. So hopefully I don't have to waste too many re-rolls here. So see, here's like all the heavy weapons and these are beam ones too. So these are both beams too. So we could take those, but I want my I want my coil second. Okay. <laughs> At least we got it. I did have to waste a little too much gold, but, you know, it is what it is. So, supposedly the coil gun is like a magnetic weapon. Uh, I think that's what it advertised. But it basically just shoots a straight, like a straight coil like this. You see how it works. It's, But it does a, it does a decent amount of damage, especially once we can get... Um, once we can get extra beams, that's where it's, I think, going to start to shine, at least in the DPS department. All right. So, again, we're going to mostly focus on this. Hopefully we see a few legendary upgrades because um, there are legendary upgrades to get extra beams for this weapon. All right. We'll do damage on you. Oh, we were just so close. To well, I think those monsters might clear it, or those aliens, bugs, whatever you want to call them. We'll loop around and get those later. I do need a tiny bit more resources uh, of these meta progression upgrades because I think I I think I'm only three or four nodes away from 
having everything upgraded now. Okay, so in this case, we'll go with this gun, even though I think the reload speed on this gun would be better, but we're going to prioritize this gun a little bit. This is, this is, we have to remember, this is Hazard 4, so... Hazard 4 on Magma Core, so it's not going to be... It's not like it's going to be an easy, clear-cut run. This is still going to be pretty challenging. I'll take it. This is the Spitterbug, so luckily he's not going to jump in here, because I actually don't want to kill him right now. Okay, we're not going to do the crit chance. We're not going to... I'm going to have super slow-firing weapons, I think, so... I don't think... Taking the negative 30 damage is going to be beneficial for us. We'll go a little bit more for the tanky side, I guess. Okay, let's get the pierce. I almost... I, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. Not like I think the devs watch this video or anything, but... Okay, I'll say it. Because I'm pretty I'm pretty confident the devs like aren't aren't watching all my videos. If they're I, they probably only watch like a few select few people, but it, I think I kind of think that this gun, the the uh Thunderhead, I think the piercing needs to be the level 18 overclock to balance it a little bit. That's just that's just my opinion. I think it's in, I think it's incredibly strong. Either that or they need to they just need to buff other weapons. Okay, so let's go with the Shard Diffractor. It's going to be a beam weapon. Um, or, yeah, let's do the Shard Diffractor. No, no, oh man, now I don't know. It's between these. I do like the Shard Diffractor. But I think having the slow would be beneficial. Okay, let's do the cryo. We're going to have, I feel that we're going to have enough DPS between between the Thunderhead... Oh, no. I actually don't want to kill that boss right now. And we're going to kind of kill him. We're probably going to kill... Oh, don't kill him right there. Oh, no. He just popped. Dang it. All right. That was a little too soon, but... Okay, let's do the, the paint job. I'm going to run through these guys. When they're frozen, you can actually run through them and not take damage. Uh, see, so here's where we're talking about. So now we can get, like, weapon range for our beams. Uh, this is why I wanted to do a character that's, that I knew was going to have a couple extra beam weapons. So that's why we went with the heavy gunner. So we kind of unlock those upgrades. All right, we can do the epic mining speed. So now we're basically going to get extra length on our beam, which is going to be nice. And then hopefully we get hopefully we get legendary upgrades and just get the extra beams and things like that. Um, okay, here, here's so like this one we're gonna do. It's gonna take the majority of my gold, but I do I do twenty extra beam length is gonna be pretty good. Okay, let's um since you're here, we'll just do this guy. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll just move on. So you can see our beam length is pretty good. You can really tell on the on the um on the cryo cannon. So what's good about this gun is let's see if we can tell. So this gun can shoot through walls. So you see how I'm shooting through walls here? That's what's kind of cool about this one. Whereas a bunch of these other guns can't, this one can, so. That definitely makes it nice. It's probably a good weapon for Hollow Bow. Um, I haven't done Hollow Bow Hazard 5 yet, but I'm imagining I'm probably going to use a similar build to what I did for Magma Core. But I might switch out. I used, I think I used the Guided Rocket. I might switch out, oh, although I guess the Guided Rocket kind of does the same thing. It can shoot over the walls because it can shoot up in the air. But I was going to say, maybe I switch out the Guided Rocket for the... 
for the coil. Because the coil is pretty good. It might do more DPS than the guided rocket. I'm not sure. I'm growing stronger. Open. Who's over here? Okay, Nitro's over here. Let's go get that. Alright, let's do the extra XP or Nitra. Let's do the XP. Just because I think it's... <laughs> getting Nitra is super incredibly rare when you're mine trying to mine it. And I know Nitra is just the rarest resource in the game, but it's always nice to get it. Because, like, look how often you get XP. The XP shows up way more often, so... I feel like that's a little bit more useful. Hopefully there there should be a lot of XP sitting around here because we didn't really pick any of it up. And then I, again, I don't want to kill this boss yet. Okay, so increases. So I wonder, <laughs> lifetime, lifetime for my beam gun. How does that work for for my coil gun? Does the coil stay out there longer? Like, does it do damage to people who walk through it? This is why you want a little bit more pickup range. Okay, let's get this. And shots now do damage to the terrain. No, I don't care too much about that. Let's do the reload speed for beans. Because, see, I missed, like, all that XP over there to the left of us. If we had just a little bit more pickup range, we could have got all that. All right, and then our last beam weapon. Um, I definitely am not taking the flamethrower, one of the worst weapons in the game. So we are going to have to re-roll, and we will take the breach cutter, I guess. Uh, I think I would have preferred the sludge pump, but I also don't want to re-roll to try to get it. So as long as we get a beam weapon, that's all I care about. Not like I even, I don't even really need another beam weapon though, but since we are going with the beam build with like the extra length and things like that in lifetime. I guess we might as well. Hello and good yeah, this actually has some long range to it. Look how long the range is. We're, we're hitting this boss all the time now. I'm not going to be as high level as I want it, but maybe we can get like a few extra levels here. Yeah, <laughs> man, we're going to get some insane range on these. Uh, that's why I wish we would have got the sludge pump. I think the sludge pump would have benefited from having the extra range over. Over the, the breach cutter that we got. Okay, I want to just like kill. No, why? Stop aiming at that guy. It's aiming at that plant down there. All right, so now we can do lifetime again. Let's do that. Let's do range again. Uh, and then we get one reroll, basically. And I'm going to hope we see the, my weapon, which we did. So we'll do that. We'll get you overclocked, and we'll do the damage and reload. I almost never take the fire rate reload, because we're going to get 150% fire rate when you overclock it. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to totally overclock this weapon, but I think I would still take the damage and reload speed. Okay, and then that's all we can do. I can't reroll and I can't buy anything else. We're gonna have to get some health here too, though. I took some health trying to farm some of that XP at the end. Alright, 
right, let's do the 12% uh, XP gain. Okay, there's some red sugar finally. Did I get the red sugar upgrade? I did. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's make sure we're getting red sugar. I should have been focusing on that a little bit more. Sometimes I get too focused on the weapons and then I forget about what um, what artifacts I got. I didn't think that last one was going to blow up, so I kind of walked into it to try to blow it up. All right, let's do you, because I want to get you with an extra beam, too. And then there's some red sugar up here, which we'll come get. There's actually two red sugars right there. Do we want to do the damage? Maybe. Maybe this build we do. That's going to give me like a 25% <laughs> movement debuff. But we picked up some extra movement speed, so let's try it. That's going to give us some really, really big damage. I don't take it all the time, but I think we will try to take it for this one. Okay, let's do the beam damage. Let's keep upgrading this weapon, so let's do damage. We'll see if hopefully we can get some... Um, hopefully we can get some movement speed upgrades here, though. I don't think, yeah, we only have, I probably shouldn't really take critical damage, because I only have that. <laughs> we only have a 23% crit chance. Alright, let's do you. Extra beam, thank you, that's what we want it. Let's do, I guess we'll do, no, I was going to say we can start going critical, but we're not good. I don't even want to bother with it. All right, let's do the damage. The pickup range would have been nice too, but that other one was too good to pass up since we are a beam build. Okay, hopefully we get extra beam. Yep, extra beam. Perfect. Alright, I think we're gonna kill this guy a lot quicker than I want to. Oh, there's a magnet. Thank you. Let's get the magnet. I don't know how much XP is on the map, but I feel like we picked up a lot of it. Yeah, we did pick up a lot of it. <laughs> we're basically gonna be like shooting the entire map with <laughs> with our coil beam, as which is which is awesome. All right, now let's do the damage. I'm gonna ignore crit for this build. Oh my gosh, and now there's a 15% crit chance. <laughs> no way. 
All right, I'm not. I no, 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 no. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get me. We're not gonna do it. All right, I want to keep upgrading this weapon because I want to get this guy maxed out. Okay, then I guess yeah, we can do this guy right here too. Okay, that's that's that worked out well. I know, crit's the way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love how this beam is basically shooting the entire screen right now. Uh, if we get it overclocked, we'll get, um, I think we'll get three extra beams. So, we'll even have, we'll have even more. So we really need to get it overclocked this level, because I want to get it overclocked before the last one, you know? So we might do, we might do some rerolls and things like that to try to get upgrades for it. Let's do. I am gonna waste gold and do rerolls for it. Uh, that's okay. Because I, I wanna. The whole point is we're trying to show off this gun, so I want to make sure we get it overclocked before the last level. We're a little. I feel like we're a little under leveled, so we're gonna have to do a little bit. Give this gun a little bit of help. All right, I'm just gonna take the epic on that one. All right, we'll take the reload. Now we only need one more level. Usually I want to be such a higher level right now. We're not even 50 yet. All right, we're going to reroll because we're one away. Man. <laughs> All right. There's enough XP here that we'll probably get another level. Oh man, we were so close to it. All right, let's do you. Yeah, see, like, look at us. We're totally railing on this enemy, too. I don't want this to drop on, so let's kind of hang out a little bit like, back here. All right. Ooh. Um, I guess at this point, I only have one gold. <laughs> so let's do the damage. But between that and the other gun, it's going to be a lot. All right, well, unfortunately, we overclocked this gun first, but <laughs> I guess that's life. There's going to be so much XP on here. Hopefully we can get. All right, let's man. I was really hoping we'd get this coil gun. We just haven't seen the upgrades for it, apparently, huh? Look at all this XP. I'm not going to be able to get it all because I'm a slow boy. All right, three beans. There we go. <laughs> now we have five beans. 
We got it. I mean, it was the last floor. Well, almost the last floor, but... At least we'll be able to showcase it for the last level. We're going to be pretty powerful with the overclocked Thunderhead and an overclocked Coil. Oh, I can't do the movement speed. Okay, let's... um. I can't even re-roll. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll just do... You... And then we're talking. we're done. That's all I can do. I spent all my gold trying to do the rerolls. So we're gonna have a big uh, damage buff. We're gonna have whatever we get from the nitra, and then the hundred percent from the gold. I wonder if getting too much nitro, though, is going to make it too hard for us to dodge this boss, though, at the end. If it does, it does. Alright, let's do... Let's keep... No, we can do... Yeah, let's do the kinetic damage, because those are... Those are my two best guns, so... It would have been cool if we saw some legendary upgrades. Oh, I guess I don't need gold because we're just going to lose it. So no point mining it, really. It's out already. That was... I wasn't expecting that. I thought we had more time for him. I just... Yeah, now I just gotta hope I'm not too slow. <laughs> I am a slow boy. We didn't get... I didn't get a ton of tanky stuff either. I didn't get a lot of health. Um, I didn't get a lot of armor. I didn't get things like that. But we are doing really good damage on him. So, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got this. Alright, let's just do the fire rate on you. Yeah, he's done though. Man, that was, that was solid. This was Hazard 4 too. I was not expecting this to be that easy. That was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought that was going to go, to be honest. But I guess we did have almost 200% damage buffs, which was a lot. See, look at this. Look how much damage this did. 36 million damage for the coil gun. It was the same level as the Thunderhead, too, and it actually out damaged it by a ton. <laughs> Granted, we did the range, like getting the range on this and the extra beams is super good. It's super good. I knew this was going to be a pretty good weapon the the first time I played with it. And it did like 20 million damage without me really investing into it. So now that I invested into it and we busted out 36 million damage, that's pretty good. And I didn't even get any good legendary upgrades for it or anything. I think we could have gotten extra beams. I think we could have gotten extra beams. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now how does this work? 36 million damage, total damage, 17 million. How does that work? How does that work? We clearly did more than 17 million. I'm so confused. I'm so confused how this worked. Because kinetic damage, this is a kinetic weapon. And it's saying we only did 15 million. I don't know. I don't get how these damage meters work. 
I don't get it. But yeah, this gun does a ton of damage. It was it was that was a really good run. And I believe it, too, because when, when we have five beams, we're shooting basically the entire screen and we're shooting through walls. We're basically you're hitting whoever you want. And then just on top of the like 2%, we had like 2%, 200% extra damage. So that was pretty crazy. Yeah, that wasn't even that wasn't even like the best run ever. That was that was a good run, though. We did. A, I'm, I'm really impressed with that damage. Ooh, what can we upgrade? Oh, we maxed these out now, too. OK, so you're maxed out now. So now the only thing left I have to max out is the pearls. OK, so this is maxed out. This is maxed out, maxed out, maxed out, maxed. Oh, my gosh, we. OK, so we're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to do this right now. Um, I'm not going to be able to afford it because I'm going to need I technically need 200 pearls to be able to um, to max out the rest of it. But I do have a lot we can sell here. I didn't realize I had everything else maxed out like that. So we can I can basically just sell all of these now. I don't need any other resources. And then we'll just pump everything into the pearls. I wish you could just hold it down or just buy all. I don't know. Having to click it a thousand times is not ideal. Feel like even even then, I'm still not going to have a hundred. I'm still like the pearls are so hard to get in this game. But I'm glad I'm at the point now to where I can just sell everything and then buy pearls. So that's crazy. So I do have almost everything maxed out. We just need I need 200 more pearls. That's really it. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. This has been our. What's what are you? What is? Oh, it's just called coil gun. So I, I am calling it right. The arms core coil gun, insanely good weapon, crazy good DPS. Um, you might be able to use. I'm. I don't know what. When I go into Hazard Five, um, Hazard Five, Hollow Bow, I'm going to use the. I'm going to use the gunner. I'm going to use the thunderhead. I'm going to use the seismic repulsor. And then I think I'm going to try. I was using the guided rocket launcher before. I think I'm going to switch that out for the coil gun and see how that goes. And then I'll probably prioritize like the thunder cannon, the thunderhead and the coil gun for my DPS. And then I can use the seismic repulsor for CC and then depending what class I play out, I, I would have a fourth weapon unless I play the juggernaut. So yeah, we'll see. Coil gun, super good though. Uh, I mean, we did do like a beam build. So you, depending on what you do, you're not going to get all that beam length and things like that. So just depends how you build it, I guess. But that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.